So in back this quantity, meeting is being recorded. Okay, in back quantity, they mean uh, in the ready quantity or stock for or sale or for shipment. For sale or for shipment. Before either shipping them to other location or individually to end consumers. Okay, as I mentioned just now, uh, there is a role of warehouse uh, as part of a temporary station before we deliver to the consumer. Okay, or it can be the temporary location before we uh, deliver to uh, maybe we deliver to a merchandiser. Sometimes we need merchandiser as a intermediary. So when we choose in, uh, intermediaries or uh, merchandiser, so uh, we can say that warehouse is a temporary uh, storage before we move to the warehouse, uh, not move to the merchandiser, okay? Or we, it, is, it is a temporary location before we move the product to end consumers, okay? So for instance, many e-commerce businesses will purchase product in bulk from their suppliers. When we talk about the quantity of quantity order, so it is in the bulk quantity. Uh, sometimes we move to the merchandise, so it's a bulk uh, quantity. So we move this uh, product from warehouse to the temporary, uh, temporary storage. Okay, who ship them to their warehouse for storage? When an end customer then places an order from the e-commerce site, the business or third-party fulfillment provide, provider pick and packs the product from the warehouse and ship it directly to the customer. Okay. Well, here I introduce the new term here. We call it e-commerce. So e-commerce means we can uh, assume like uh, a company, a company that supply the product. So e-commerce is the method whereby the company, um, the company is a uh, is like e-commerce company, you no, know? or like a, a web web company whereby the customer can refer to the web if they want to make an order, okay. Or third-party fulfillment provider. Sometimes we have a agent, so third-party can be the agent appointed by the by the by the company okay. so we call it third party okay third party so e-commerce is like a channel only okay it's still about uh, play a role as a as a uh, supplier for the product so but now we discuss about the role and the definition of warehouse so warehouse from this slide you can see warehouse is the the storage temporary storage before we deliver the product to the customer or to the other intermediaries. All right. So what is the, uh, the difference between warehouse and distribution center? Okay. While a warehouse is a technically any building that stores physical product, regardless of the purpose, a distribution center is more specifically a type of warehouse designed to fulfilling orders. So that mean distribution center is is a temp still a uh, temporary basis but the design is a more specific design okay so the specific design mean the way we design this distribution center is based on the purpose of distribution okay and distribution centers therefore need to be designed for not only compact storage but also efficient picking packing and shipping so sometimes uh, the company can conduct the picking and packing uh, activities in this distribution center. In this distribution center, okay. Why is warehousing important? Okay. Why is warehousing important? Warehousing is an essential part of the supply chain. For most type of business that deal with deal in physical goods, physical goods, okay. Eventually, make it way to an end retail customer okay a holding temporary place to hold the product before it arrives to the end retail customer okay sometimes like i said just now maybe the product from warehouse move to the uh, to the warehouse uh, to the merchandiser then from merchandiser go to retailer so there is a link there's a link uh, 
uh, between the manufacturer to merchandiser the manufacturer to retailer or the manufacturer to the end consumer okay it can be based based on that three type of uh, ship uh, call it delivery okay it could be business to business companies storing product that eventually make it to business customer so business to business company mean uh, there is a storage there is a warehouse in between the the the, the shipping or the delivery of product from uh, business a to business b so when we talk about b to b it can be uh, in the form of uh, transferring the ownership transferring the ownership okay so maybe b number two is a, a partner for b number one okay so b1 is manufacturer b2 is a business partner of the manufacturer okay so we call it b to b business to businesses okay for retail and e-commerce businesses, warehouse allows the purchase of wholesale goods in bulk. Okay, you see the, the quantity mass uh, in the bulk quantity. Okay. Bulk that may not fit in a physical retail, retail store or yet be purchased by an end customer. There is a two, there are two conditions. And we send the product in the bulk amount, in the bulk quantity, but uh, the, 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 there's no there's no buyer yet. No buyer for the product yet. Still in the form of uh, storage. Still in the function of storage. Uh, without uh, without uh, the order. I mean, the customer uh, or the, the man, our company not yet receive any order by by the customer. Okay, so it it is still in the status of uh, storage purposes. Untuk tujuan simpanan sahaja. Okay, so they can also Keep inventory available as demand fluctuates to ensure products stay in stock. So it is uh, still uh, represent the what we call uh, inventory or represent the, the stock for the manufacturers. Because why still in the uh, status of stock? Because there are no there are no uh, no order received yet towards the, the, the product. Okay, so uh, there are two status of uh, of uh, of uh, inventory or in this warehouse. First is the customer's order stock or two can be the only the stock without any order yet. So in this case the warehouse function is like a temporary temporary storage like a temporary storage. In addition, warehousing allows business to store product in strategic geographic areas to reduce delivery time and shipping costs. So when we put uh, keep our product temporarily in the warehouse, okay, so this can we can cut the delivery costs because when we send this product in the bulk amount or quantity and keep there as a temporary, so we have only uh, one shipment. Uh, or two shipment we can uh, uh, we not uh, we are not uh, shipping many times so then we can cut the shipping cost okay because we ship it in the bulk amount it may be one year only only two times we deliver the product from uh, indonesia to us for example okay maybe only 50 percent of this uh, quantity is is uh, is uh, waiting for delivery but other 50 percent is uh, still in the status of of us event of, of inventory or stock still in the status of stock okay in a business is selling a product directly to consumer across the us they may want to store inventory in multiple different region of country so it can be so the the warehouse can be like a, a temporary storage before the product is uh, deliver to other uh, uh call it region so let's say the warehouse in us or in uk to cover all the european region so in this situation there is a role of a warehouse as a as a what as a temporary storage to be delivered later on when after we receive the order 
kata grisim dia order. Okay. So, why the conti is bad conti? Because we want to keep it there in, in, in temporarily. Okay, and only after we receive the order, only we deliver. So, the, there is a temporary role, uh, function of warehouse in, uh, in order to supply in the, to cover uh, the supply and the demand for the regions, for the region. Okay. So, they will want to strategically place their house in different countries. Okay. Right. The element of their housing, one is a capacity planning. Okay. One is capacity. In case space is the key resources. So, you have to think about the capacity. How much the quantity, the bulk of quantity can go in into the storage. Okay. And how long the, uh, the product will wait there. Waiting time, lag time. How long is uh, they are waiting there before it is, it is uh, we receive the actual orders from the customer? So first we have to think about the capacity. Okay. Number two, it is about the the inbound shipment. Sometimes we have to uh, have an internal uh, shipment. Okay. When product arrive at the where the warehouse staff will need to receive the item and carefully move them to a staging area for processing. So it is about the, the material, it is about also the raw material, or it is about the half way product before we make a, a final assembly. Tracking inventory. Okay, all as item flow in the and out of the warehouse, they need to be registered in the warehouse inventory management system. So there is a system to uh, to record to record the, the movement of the inventory. The movement of the item inside and outside the, the warehouse. So why we have we need to have this system because we want to track, we want to uh, track the, the quantity, the, we want to track the inventory, we want to track the uh, what we call it the the status of uh, uh, quantity or the status of uh, storage, the numbers of item in the storage. Okay, so the, the numbers of inventory. Okay. Storing product. After product have been received and processed, they need to be stored. This can involve putting the product in bins and pallet, and then using moving equipment to transport them to the appropriate storage space. So there is a process also storing. Call it storing. Storing means we arrange the product uh, in the proper way. Okay, we use a pallet, we use a forklift to move the product. Reorganizing. Reorganizing also part of the activities in the uh, in the storage in the warehouse. And by we need, we have to uh, uh, you have to sometimes we do the re inventory recalculation because you want to know the the actual numbers of the the storage uh, product in the storage in the warehouse. Retrieving and outbound shipping. Finally, when product needs to go out of the warehouse for shipment. Staff need to retrieve, process, package, load, and then release them from the inventory to allow space for new inbound. So there is a process, there is a daily operation in this warehouse because you want to retrieve and outbound the shipping. Warehousing and supply chain. Warehousing is an integral piece of broader supply chain for physical product. Okay, so warehousing even, even permits things like a repackaging product for marketing purpose. There are uh, activities in this warehouse. It can be uh, repackaging, picking, or whatever, uh, based on the, the customer order. Okay, so from the bulk amount of quantity, we move it to the uh, uh, to the small numbers of quantity based on the the packaging, the packaging decision. Okay, and the packaging decision also must refer to the order by the region. Maybe if UK can be part of the warehouse, we have the warehouse, a big warehouse in UK. Then we are going to deliver the product to other Europe countries. So there is a repackaging, repackaging activities. We package the product according to the, the customer order based on the different country, for example, different region. Okay. So warehousing is a part of supply chain. So how we housing, uh, we have we can integrate to the e-commerce tag. So, like I said just now, e-commerce is like a, 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 the system or the online uh, system 
where the customer can uh, order the product, the customer can uh, check the price. Okay, so normally e-commerce uh, in the most of the company e-commerce is like the web for the for the company. Okay, so next we move to the role of anyway, housing. Okay. So one is for inventory and stock control. When we have a house, we can control uh, you can, uh, the numbers of stock, the numbers of inventory, the status of inventory. And also we can uh, use make use of this warehouse for stock control. Most modern warehouses are now equipped with the latest technology. We have, I call it, warehouse management system, WMS, that provide a real-time updates as to exactly how much stock you have and what how, how much uh, we need to replenish we have to uh, replace Let's say we have 10,000 pieces now 5,000 already moved from our warehouse so we need to uh, replenish another 5,000 okay in order to uh, to make fully use of the space in this Effective and efficient distribution. Not only does having all your goods in one centralized place, okay, it also allows for much more efficient distribution to your customer. Okay, as most warehouses have close connection with distribution companies, this is another part of the supply chain. All right. Cost effectiveness. When we have a warehouse in the location, so uh, we can cut the delivery costs because we have a temporary location and storage whereby uh, as a temporary uh, before uh, we receive another order by our new customer keep a good good safe so when we have a very properly uh, like a, a warehouse with a special design some warehouse with good, good with a like a condition, we have a cool storage, we have a dry room area, so this provide very good. Uh, keep our good in the uh, safe condition, okay? We can minimize the rejection from the customer. We have also CTV all around the premises, okay? Smoke and fire detection system. We have alarm system, okay? We have a access control system. So all these features give you a peace of mind that your goods are in the right hand, ready for when they need to ship, for shipping. So now we move to the next uh, subtopic for this uh, warehouse. It is about type of warehouse, types of warehouse. So one is a distribution center. One of the defining characteristics of the distribution center is the speed by which goods pass through. Okay, so we call it distribution center. Uh, it can be bonded warehouse. Bonded warehouse also known as a custom warehouse. Okay, bonded warehouse allows for storage of dutyable goods with payment of custom. Okay, distribution center, bonded warehouse like a or custom inspection. Good can be stored indefinitely, which from a business perspective also added benefit, allowing the pre-sale activities. Okay, bonded warehouse, custom warehouse. Uh, the first one is distribution center. The role of warehouse is like a distribution center. Number two is a bonded warehouse. The role of a warehouse is like a, a temporary inspection area for custom. We have also consolidated warehouse. The consolidated warehouse operation involves a number of other shipping small batches of goods to one location, call it consolidated warehouse, before they are consolidated into large shipment. There are four utilities in logistic. There are four utilities in logistic. Okay. The first one is economic utilities. So logistic plays a key role in economy. Logistic is the one of the major expenditure for business, one of the fundamental ways that logistic add value is by creating utilities. Utility is like prasarana. Okay. In Bahasa, you call it prasarana or, or kemudahan. Okay. From an economic standpoint, utility represents the value or usefulness 
that an item or switch has in fulfilling for one or more. There are four types of utility form utility, possession utility, time utility, or place utility. Okay, what is this about? Okay, form utility. Form utility is created by the design of the product or service itself. Okay, by design of the product. Okay, form utility. Okay. More precisely, a good or service is targeted toward customer needs and desires. Okay, let's say if the customer order only 20 pieces, so how are you going to pack these 20 pieces? Maybe we need a special packing system to comply with these numbers of orders. So that's why we need a, a, a form utility, form utility created by design of product or service. So form utility can be defined as a process that increase the value of a product to the consumer by making changes and altering its physical appearance. The method involves taking a product and making it ready to meet the needs of the end consumption. Number two is possession utility. Possession utility is the value added to the product or service because the customer is able to take actual possession. Possession utility describes the benefit that can be derived from owning and using a specific product. This is made possible by credit arrangement, loans, and so on. For example, an expensive piece of furniture may be more easily available through the low interest financial rate. So possession utility. Right. Next is a time utility. Okay. Time utility is the value added by having an item when it is needed. This could occur within the organization as it in having all the material and parts that are needed for manufacturing, so that the production line does not have to shut down. Time utility is created by providing easy availability of good or service at the time. So easy availability of good or service at the time. So time utility. So, bermakna bila barang itu diperlukan pada masa itu, so barang itu sudah ready. Tidak perlu menunggu masa yang lama. So, the more easily the quickly a product can be purchased, purchased at the time, the higher it perceived time utility. Companies are continually improving their supply chain management, which has led to services such as a same day delivery in 24 hours. I mean, bila barang itu diperlukan, barang itu sudah ready. Tidak perlu menunggu dengan ramah. Tidak perlu menunggu dengan ramah. Next, place utility. Place utility can be obtained through the process of making the good as we more easily available to potential customer. Customer place utility has a lot to do with distribution channel. Okay. Let's say if the customer come from the European region, and we have the store in the UK, United Kingdom, and the role of this UK storage warehouse is to supply. Uh, this product to the customer in European, re European region. That means if the stock is available at a uh, UK uh, warehouse, so we can say uh, there is a conforming the place utility because we receive the, the order from the European country and the stock is available at UK. So UK is very near to the European uh, country the customer. So. So there is a place utility. That means, di mana barang itu diperlukan dan barang itu berada, ada di mana diperlukan. Okay. One example can be availability of water and other drinks near spot venues. Okay. Kalau orang yang bersukan dan di, uh, di berhampiran padang itu, sukan itu terdapat gerai-gerai minuman. Nah, ini bermakna di tempat yang sama. Terdapat, di, diperlukan di tempat tertentu. Okay. Alright, okay, 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 you see, there is a, a three, a, I call it the four utilities in the system, okay, alright, uh, class, uh, it is like uh, we have uh, uh, this lecture, okay. okay, the topic today is uh, uh, in line to the chapters in chapter 9, okay, and uh, this chapter 9 is very, we have very short uh, sub Call it sub content. So we only today discuss about the conceptual definition of a house. Then we also discuss about the benefit of a house, and also the utilities, the utilities, uh, in the warehouse to make this uh, warehouse is uh, visible to make this warehouse 
visible. Okay. All right. Okay. So if we have any any question, you have any question? Yes. You now you can ask the question. We have another uh, maybe twenty minutes. Uh, Fifteen minutes. Um, yes, Apifa. You have very short uh, discussion today. Do you have anything you can, you can ask now? Today we focus on the warehouse, warehousing, the role of warehouse. We still talk about the the delivery process, the role of logistics in the main uh, the main activities in logistic is is uh, delivery. Okay. And uh, in delivering the process, we have a stock center. We have a stock center. So warehouse is one of the stock center before the product uh, arrive to the customer location. All right, Nadia. Yeah, please ask question. Alif, Afif, or Alif. Yes, everyone can. Okay, okay I have a question here from. Uh, Isma, so there is a question from Isma. What tips can be used so that warehousing management activities can be carried uh, easily? Okay, what is what is the tip? Okay, first, as I mentioned just now, uh, there is a there is a what call it? There is a, a routine. There is a routine role of of a warehouse. There is a routine. There is a routine. Uh, oh, you cannot listen to my voice. Why are you? Now okay or not? Now okay? Uh, there is a routine role of uh, of. Uh, there is a routine role of uh, of warehouse. Uh, to to be a temporary uh, look, uh, call it a storage. Okay, so that's therefore. Uh, to make this uh, warehouse management is easily or visible, uh, all the, uh, the 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 marketing department or the customer order department must always uh, uh, link uh, to the uh, always must update the data to this warehouse. Okay, so especially uh, the data about the numbers of order. So when we we have we update the data about the numbers of order. The numbers of order, okay. So uh, there are we will make use all the space in this warehouse, okay. So then we make sure that the number of inventory always updated. So we have uh, the update uh, numbers of inventory or stock. Then if there is a space, there is a space in this warehouse, we can deliver another product to be uh, to keep there as a temporary. Okay, so I mean the data system must be up to date. The system must up to date. Then we know uh, what is our uh, warehouse capacity. We try to minimize the cost of saving. So uh, then we have to update the data about the numbers of inventory in the process of uh, custom process. So when we have very good data system, so we will we'll make use the space in this warehouse uh, if efficiently, when you talk about the effectiveness and if efficient, efficient. Okay, so we make sure we efficiently use our warehouse. All right. Okay. Any more question? Okay. Thank you. <clears throat> okay. Next. Okay. I am Lisa. Want to ask? The consolidation warehouse. What parties are involved? Okay. How to uh, classify the goods before they become a big shipment? How to uh, classify good? Okay. There are two activities here. So there is a relationship. There is a, a close relationship between uh, marketing department and also a warehouse department. A warehouse. Uh, Administration unit, you must have a link. Okay, what parties are involved? So uh, we can see very clear here. There is a role of marketing department. So marketing department must always update the data about the number of order. Marketing department. Then uh, storage department. Well, storage department is like a warehouse. 
administration. So the, the, the people in the the administrator of the warehouse must always update the numbers of inventory. Okay. Then also the maybe the transportation. Why transportation? Because uh, let's say we have we have a lack numbers of storage in warehouse. So we have to make sure we have uh, the transportation is available. The transportation is available to deliver the, the stock and inventory. So there is, uh, we call it, uh, integration between transportation, warehouse, uh, data system, and marketing uh, department. So all these three parties must work together, must uh, properly coordinate it in order to ensure this warehouse uh, uh, in the good function and effective. Okay, is, right? Is it? Is it? I answer your your question, Lisa. Lisa. Yes, sir. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Okay, next. Uh, Nadia, actually, I have a, a meeting eh, around the corner, around about ten this morning. So, if you have any more question, maybe we can uh, postpone our class, and uh, I can share with you the my notes for today. Yes, Putri. Okay. It okay for you, Putri? Okay, sir. Ah, okay. Huh? So I'm so okay, Nadia. So actually, I have a meeting at ten Malaysia time. So uh, I can share uh, a simple video to you and and uh, the notes after this. All right, student. Okay, thank you very much. See you next week. Okay, thank you, Dr. Sam. All right, Nadia, Nadia is a docent there. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Bye. Assalamualaikum. Waalaikumsalam. 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 Siap. Hmm. Ah, semua sistem kami kat dia. Bagi dekat. Hmm. Pak Fajar, terima kasih. Ini mungkin bisa di end meeting. Teman-teman nanti presensinya saya share link-nya di grup ya. Jadi Pak, saya mau ada meeting jam 10 di waktu Malaysia. Berarti kan di sana itu butuh persiapan. Thank you, Ya, yeah, thank you. Thank you, guys. Pak Fajar, thank you. Nanti coba dicek dulu bisa enggak itu. Oke, okay, thank you.